Good morning, everyone. Michelle here. I am coming here today to share three of my latest journals that I just completed, and I'm pretty excited that they're done. They were a lot of work um, and a real, real labor of love. Anyhow, um, we're going to go into them fairly quickly because because they're quite big. They're quite chunky. There are three of these. Um, this is the top of the first one. This is the side and the back. Now, I did a video a little while ago called Stitches, and this was the, the way I did the covers. It was all the different types of stitches in my sewing machine and some hand embroidery and some quilting and... Um, Anyhow, so I'm I'm all done them now. So I did them um, like traveler's notebooks. In I put them in in elastics because uh, they're just too chunky, and this is such a a soft cover. Uh, there was there were there it, it wouldn't have worked. So I'll show you I'll show you what I've got going on here. <laughs> so I haven't put the signatures in right now, um, just so that I, it's easier to go through while they're separate from the book. So this is the inside, and if you see the inside, it looks like it's got a bit of a quilted effect, like quilted. So I didn't put any pockets or anything because I thought it looked kind of nice on its own. And yeah, I'm just gonna put that aside. There are three signatures in these books, uh, and so I'll just start with the first one. So this is the first signature. I don't know how many pages. I forgot to count. It will be in the Etsy listing, though. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll go over that after. I'll go over that after. So it, right in the front, it's got this big envelope pocket. It's got um, a little embroidery floss. Uh, it's a vintage embroidery floss cover. I scanned them and then and then just put some embroidery uh, thread in there or floss. This is one of the um, paper clips sort of inspired by Tracy Fox. And then inside the little envelope, it's got a little quilted journaling card with some buttons on it. And I am gonna put the stuff back during the video because if I don't, I'll forget where everything goes. So, sorry about that. <laughs> and then this is the first page. It's got a little charm hanging from a D-ring. And then a little, looks like a spool of thread. I cut these with my brother's cut and scan. They had that, they have that, um, or brother's scan and cut, sorry. This design, which is pretty darn cute. So I just made it really big and I attached it onto a hinge. Um, to make it like a page. This is tracing paper on top of um, an old book page from a sewing book. And then it's got some tassels throughout. It's got um, lace and trim throughout as well. This is a little, like a little journaling card, a quilted journaling card. A little pocket there. This is some Franken paper with a tab. There are some writing spots in these journals, but to be honest, there 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 aren't that many. Um, and it would I think it might be hard to write in just simply because um, the books are so stuffed full of stuff. This is a little pot, um, a little envelope with some little vintage buttons in it. It's a little button envelope, and just in that little paper clip. And then we have, um, I kind of made this first one sort of a fairy theme, only because I had to put that pocket on the front because I, I messed up a bit. And so I put the pocket on to cover the, to cover the, my little error. <laughs> so I used, um, a fairy, a fairy image. So, and then in the card, it's like a little fairy, a little fairy, um, like a playing card. So I just put that in the pocket in the front. Anyway, back onto the book, uh, some more writing paper. This little embroidered coaster is just has a, um, it has a tag and then some different types of tickets in it. And then this is a, 
a pattern envelope and inside the pattern envelope it's got a scan of the uh, it's a vintage needle book and so I just made it into kind of like a writing a little writing book or journal or book yeah like a notepad um, there's an envelope here with some little journaling cards we have that one with ledger this one here is from Mrs. Cog. I bought her um, sewing sewing um, digitals, and she's got a bunch of cute little cards in there. So I use them in here uh, from a a pattern book. Some ledger paper. Here's a little pocket with uh, another journaling card or tag journaling tag. This is uh, some fabric. Oh, I'll take those off. So this one here, this image, is from Mrs. Cog Garden Fairy Digitals. And this is from her Fairies in the Garden Digitals. So that's what those are, if you're interested. I'll put her link below, or you'll see it below in the video. Uh, another journaling card tag. Then there's some more paper. There's, like I said, there's a bit of writing places but I don't think it's going to be easy to write on. <laughs> it's pretty lumpy. This envelope here has um, another journaling card in it. And almost every single page has stitching on it. Almost. Not all of them, but I did a whole ton of sewing on these books. Which, uh, of course, I absolutely love to do. I'll fix that later. This is... Um, another pattern and inside there is um, this really pretty journaling card and it's got coffee dyed paper on the back this is another one of Mrs. Cog's um, dig one of her digital kits and that's that same sewing digital kit okay <laughs> sorry trying to get that in Okay, some more paper and tabs. Paper. This one here has a little um, cameo charm. And then this page here has this little corner pocket with this journaling card on it. And then this one here is a little pocket with some really pretty little danglers. I don't think you can see that. And there's um, two tags in there. Both journal. You can journal on both of them. And they just pop right in there. And then there's the back side of that um, spool or um, button. Sorry, it's a button, like a button die cut. And then uh, this was... Um, I made these snippets and I had had a big huge piece of it so I just scanned it and printed it off and so it's like a piece of paper and so yeah so I just sewed it to a piece of scrapbook paper and and made it a page in the book I actually think it's quite beautiful and then this little um, snippet is not attached to the book just just attached by the little um, clothespins and, you know, like you can flip it up. You could put a pocket on there or whatever. You can take the little snippet right off the book and hang it on your wall or use it somewhere else. Anyway, it's really pretty. I thought so anyway. So that's the first signature. Then the middle signature in the book is for you to, if if any, like whoever saw my, my other video called Stitches, um the 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 journal I made for myself with my machine stitches and so I gave I gave you six pieces of muslin backed with um uh it was an iron on interfacing and so you can take these right out of the book and stitch on them you put your sewing machine stitches on it and then you can bind it however you like or just keep them separate. I ended up sewing two two pages together like that. And then um, I made pockets like this. And then I just put a card in there for you. And you can um, 
decide how you want to record your stitches and your different widths and lengths and 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 you know the number of the stitch and that kind of thing because it's a really really handy um reference reference tool um i'm gonna just show you quickly sorry i should have had this ready but because i had the other my other video with my stitches book in it um, so you can always refer back to that one on on what I did. But so I did all my sewing machine stitches. So that's what I was thinking for this middle part for you to be able to do. And if you don't feel like doing that, that's fine. Because what you can do is you can just pull them out of the book and just practice any kind of stitches on it. Do or practice threads, different types of thread. Um, you know, play around with your sewing machine and you can make it part of your your junk journal. Anyhow, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. And then this is the third signature. And they're all, each signature, except for the fabric, the muslin signature, the second one, the, both the other two signatures are sewn in with a five-hole pam um, five pamphlet stitch. And then they've got the elastic around the middle to attach it into your main journal. So it, we'll go into this quickly. So this was um, a card that I made. And it's, I think it's, I'm going to call it like the four-door um, secret journaling card. So what you do, I have it just um, attached on the back with a, this is snap tape that you can buy at the fabric store. So it's just a snap and I just have it sewn onto the card and you just release that. And then each of these cards has, is on a hinge and it's got like, you know, your secret secret journaling spot. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cute, pretty clever. It's um, backed with, it's a, a it's an, an actual, um, like an a index card. Um, it's got a napkin decoupaged and a um, pattern tissue paper decoup decoupaged on, onto it, you know, with, with Mod Podge. Not Mod Podge, Mod Podge. <laughs> And then it's got the little button dangle right there, which never really sits that well. But anyway, so it's a cute little card. And I just have that attached in the front of this signature with a little one of the little Tim Holtz bulldog, the little bulldog um, paper clips. That was just there so that my ink didn't transfer over. It's got a little key charm there. This page has, um, this is from Sue Olson and it's from Sue Olson's vintage, sorry, <laughs> vintage sewing journal cards. And this is the purple one, but I also got the red one too. So this one has the purple one in it. And it's like a little journaling card there. It's beautiful. Her digitals are beautiful. And this is a, a working zipper. So it's like a working pocket. And um, then I just pop that right in there like that. This one here, I bought a big box full of flower cards. So it's the picture of the flower and then kind of an explanation of the flower. And they're just, they're really, really cool cards. If anybody has any ideas on what I can do with these types of cards, let me know because I want to use them. They're, all the flower images are just gorgeous. And then I did this, and it has nothing to do with sewing, but um, so I took one of the large playing cards, I used my die cut on it, and then, or two different die cuts actually, I backed it with a Lettre set, um, some stuff I found at a reuse center, and I guess, I think it's just like for transferring letters onto things, I don't know, I've never used it, but I know it's called Lettre set. And then I filled the little innards with um, sequins. So anyway, um, it's kind of cool. And so I'm going to probably be making some of these for my shop. Or I'll just do a tutorial. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> I have other things going in my shop and they're taking my they're taking a lot of my focus and concentration right now. So, But we'll see. I had fun making those. And I think they look really cool. I think so anyway. Um, but yeah, that's that. So anyway, let's move on. 
This is the next page. It's got a little button card here and some more of Mrs. Cog's little little um, sewing cards. Weekend forecast, sewing with no chance of cooking and cleaning. And measure twice, cut once. Which, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty true, both of them. And this is from a butterfly coloring book. And the images are actually quite beautiful. It's not, it's not child's coloring, you know, it's more adult co coloring. And then there's um, this belly band. I got, I made one after watching um, a Rhonda Winstead. I think it's Rhonda Winstead, her video. And she, she just um, made it like a big sheet of a bunch of snippets and like lace pieces and stuff. And she, I believe it was Mod Podged as well. And then anyway, I let it all dry and then I cut it up and uh, made belly bands. Then we have this little journaling card with some sequins down the side. Some music paper. A music paper envelope here with uh, a Mrs. Cog postcard. And I buy a, all, lots of my quilting cottons from this place called Missouri Star Quilt Company. And so they sent me a pad of paper one time with one of my orders. And so I'm sharing the pages. And that's uh, from Mrs. Cog again. The postcard. And some more pages. Uh, pattern tissue paper with some sequins. And there's an image of um, some fairies by the sewing machine. <laughs> that's what makes it sort of fairy themed. <laughs> Uh, and then just some fabric swatches with some little buttons sewn onto a, um, like a sewing instruction book. This digital is from Gail Augustinelli. She did some eco, eco dye and, um, her colors came out so beautiful. And I have a funny feeling that my printer isn't even doing it justice, but the colors are just gorgeous. Um, a little bit of stenciling. This is another Mrs. Cog Sewing Men's The Soul. And then some more pattern paper. There's a little button card there. This is, um, oops. <laughs> this is another die cut on my brother's, my brother cut scan and cut. And it's like a, it's like a spool, like a thread spool. So I did the same thing as with the, um, I think this is coming loose. Okay, I'm going to have to fix that. Um, so I just put a hinge on it and uh, stuck it in here as a as a page, just like the, the button one. And a really pretty uh, flower image there. This is a Sue Olson card again. This is her part of her red kit. I hope I'm in frame. Oh my goodness. Anyway, this is from Sue Olson, and um, it's just a journaling card, or a journaling card. This is a CD envelope that I just um, dig, or, um, collaged a little bit of stuff around the outside. And then it's got another Sue Olson image on the inside. And that's on some coffee dye paper and a little bit of lace trim there. Okay. And more pages. This one here has a little, it's like a little sewing machine tag in this little pocket right here. Sorry about that. And then I just weaved some velvet trim through that page. And then this is the center of the signature and it's called a fairy dance. It was a music book and I just scanned it and I'm using it as a sheet or, you know, as a as a page and there's a sewing machine this is a little um, it's a it's a paper clip and it's like Woodward's is an old store that used to be here in Canada we don't have it and it's not there anymore but it used to be a fantastic little department store um, and like a little collage of items there for the paper clip and then just some buttons dangling from the back and then another, there's the front of that um, floral image, which is actually, you know, I think I might leave that sticking out. Uh, floral image from a, a book, book 
book page and then there's the back of the the thread spool and it's got a little glassine bag attached with some glue and washi that fairy image is also mrs cog i don't remember which um, collection but it's one of the two collections that i mentioned earlier and then it's got a little um tag in it and it's also a tuck spot tuck spot back here so if you've got another little tag you want to put in there that will work um pattern sheet from a book mrs cog and mrs cog again and then there's a fabric pocket i just backed it on with some parchment and then i put in a little tag it's my note from the bookmaker and then where you can find me kind of like a business card and you know how to get a hold of me if you would like to <laughs> and then this is um you know some more fabric swatches with the little buttons on them this is a little uh this is a stabilizer with like um you know when you're doing embroidery and that kind of thing on your sewing machine it's a stabilizer fabric and so i just did a, a collage i did some um all kinds of things like pattern pattern tissue and music paper buttons and that kind of stuff. And so you, that flips up. This one's attached by some stitches. And then there's some more sequins with the pattern tissue. This is a little a little envelope pocket with another tag that I made. Um, yeah, just kind of a double tag. So you have that one just hanging over. Of course, a button and a bulb pin, music paper. There's a belly band with some buttons on it. And this one is Mrs. Cog through the eye of a needle. And then this page has another, some more danglies. You can see that. See those danglies. I love danglies. <laughs> And then Mrs. Cog and just uh, a button card, um, journaling card, button card, journaling card. And then this one has a little, um, little green, little green butterfly. And then in this page, we have like a thread, like a thread sample card. And so I did the colors of the rainbow, but I added magenta because magenta is such a beautiful color. I wanted to put it on my um, thread sample card. And um, it's just the inside of a napkin, like the second layer of a napkin. And I just Mod Podged it onto uh, a piece of file folder and then just uh, punched the holes and put the thread in there. So that's your thread sampler. And then here we have, well, my intention was to make like a little needle book. It didn't, it ended up not really being that way, but I've got some, you know, some little things like a button dangling from, from a bulb pin, um, some lace dangling from a, a kilt pin, uh, some little sewing needles, but I, I put a piece of tape there so that nobody would get poked, but obviously you can take that off if you want, but. You know, I, I didn't want to get anybody, I didn't want to make anybody <laughs> get hurt, you know. A little fabric swatch and then just some pins. And then on this side we have a little, just a little pair of um, like embroidery, embroidery scissors with the little tassel on it. And I just left it in the plastic um, just, you know, for shipping purposes. So hopefully it doesn't get scratched up or, you know, that kind of thing. So that just pops in there. And then... I just put the button on there and and um I'm not going to apologize for this nothing matches. I I try over and over again to try to follow a color theme or you know be all matchy and I just can't do it. I am always just like so inspired by all these pretty colors and sparklies and <laughs> uh this is some wallpaper and I just attached it with some washi. Um I glued the washi or it might have double-sided tape. I don't remember. I did one or the other. And then it's got a little fairy card inside. A little journaling card. And then there's the buttons. 
Okay, so that's the first one, and that one will be titled uh, just the fairy fairy themed or fairy sewing themed journal. That's the first one. So oh, everything just about fell. Okay, and this is the second one. And like I said, it's almost exactly, like all the pages are different, but the same. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I know that wasn't a very good explanation, but it's very similar. Um, so it's, they each have um, a vintage yo-yo and some lace in the front. You can leave it there or move it anywhere because it's just attached just by a little safety pin. So um, this one here, uh, we'll just go through it. There's... Um, there's a journaling card and it's coffee dyed on the back, coffee dyed paper. Those are fun, kind of patchworky, sort of crazy quilt type of feel. There's that snippet um, scan that I did. This is uh, a tag and a button, a button card with, in a button card. <laughs> and then some more, I, I, you know, it's paper from a book. And then there's that thread spool, Mrs. Um, Gail Augustinelli's um, digital. And then this one has a little sewing machine in there. There's the little the little quilt um, quilt card. Oh, I guess this one you can't really um, journal on it. <laughs> Sorry, this one's more of a decoration. And this was a a piece from a, it was like a sari that I have, and I just backed it onto paper and then sewed it, sewed it on there. This one has the, there's a little cameo on this one as well. Cameo charm. And with the measuring tape tab, holding the D-ring. Uh, sequins and pattern paper. So this pattern book has and the needle book in it with the writing paper. The happy home. Oops. Okay. This is a just a black piece of lace that I sewed in, and it's got that little journaling card tag. Journaling card tag. And this is uh, tracing paper. Tracing paper can actually be written on, and that surprised me, but it actually is doable. So... All this section, you can just write on it. And in fact, I think that would look kind of cool with writing just, you know, through the paper, on the paper. You know, with the words, well, I can't find my words today. I'm so sorry that I'm being so, not finding my words or speaking very good English. <laughs> Um, okay, so I've got some washi here. This this paper here, uh, I dyed it with purple cabbage. And um, the first few pages all came out purple and beautiful. And now I'm down to uh, what was left, which was more blue. And it was getting kind of cracky, so I put a, a piece of um, book page there. And then this is another button card. It's got buttons you probably want to see. Maybe you don't, but you're going to anyway. <laughs> this one has really pretty little yellow vintage um, buttons. And I know they're vintage because the package is 29 cents. You can't even get one button for 29 cents anymore. <laughs> and then paper pages. This one was cool. It had a pair of scissors on it. I thought that was kind of neat. And then a uh, little journaling card in there. We went with the orange. And then um, an Edith Holden page in the middle. This one here has this journaling card. And that's that uh, Mrs. Cog weekend forecast. Uh, sewing with no chance of cooking or cleaning. And that's backed onto coffee dye paper as well. That's a little pocket right there. Okay. And this one has a little key on the D-ring. And there, see, there's like, that's a whole sheet of journaling paper. And this one here 
has a large tag in it with uh, journaling on the back. Can you see? I'm sorry that I keep doing that. I'm so used to moving around all over the place that <laughs> I never know if I'm in frame or not. Uh, some more sequins. There's another uh, altered paper clip. It's just got a little tag hanging from it. And there's that, uh, another tag, double tag with the button. It's more sari fabric. And then this one here with the little glassine bag has the little pair of scissors tag. And there, it, so that's a tuck and also inside the envelope is a tuck. So, and there's that embroidered um, coaster again and that's all filled with different types of tickets and a little um, tag there. And there's a wallpaper. This is wallpaper. And I just made a little envelope attached uh, by washi again. And then there's that flower flower card. I'm going to come over this way a bit. That's the flower card for this one. And this is from Jibid. Jibid Neary, I bought her sewing kit from her. Um, I think she's got a website. It's not. She's not on Etsy. It's I'll put her link below as well. Or it should be below by the time you're watching this. Um, and there's this one here. This is the snippet for this one. Just attached by two um, clothespins. And it's got those danglies. Let's see. I really think those things are beautiful. I will be selling those in my shop as well. And then there's your center with the large index card. And it's got six six sheets of muslin backed with the, um, it was an iron-on, iron-on interfacing. So that's the back part of that one. And then this is the third signature. This is the, that tag in there the little purple paper clip and this one has oh it has this really pretty tag in it and that's journaling on the back as well and so that just pops right in there <laughs> okay let me just close that up um sorry let just put that there Okay, so, and this side here, and this one here, which has got the working zipper again, for a big pocket, it's got the Sue Olson uh, card, and then I made, I made a little journaling card, um, tag, card journaling tag, and some more paper, this is my, this is my handmade paper, I actually made that one. And then that's Miss Cog card again. And then some tissue paper. There's um, more fabric, sw or fabric swatches with the buttons. And then this one says, Life is short, buy the fabric. And that's perfect advice. <laughs> and then it's another CD envelope that I just collaged around it with the Sue Olson uh, red the red sewing kit, coffee dye paper, and some trim. And that just pops in there. And then this one has another one of those playing cards with the, this one doesn't have the letter set, I just went with the, just plastic. And so um, it's got the card that I was die cut on the top and then in a little, like I made a, just sewed around it, made a little bag, sort of, of plastic and put the sequins in there. And I'm just, I'm just enthralled with these things. I don't know. I like them. So, but you have to be kind of careful. So I'm going to figure out a way maybe to cover the top part with plastic too, so that it doesn't get caught on everything. 
This one has a little owl charm. And then the button belly band. I turn thread and paper into journals. What's your superpower? And then this beautiful purple sewing machine card. Um, I think it's just beautiful. I wish they made sewing machines colors like that. <laughs> I would buy it. And so this one here with the, on the bulldog clip is another one of those four door um, secret journaling spots. So uh, the snap tape on the back, the trim, and then I kind of made this like little tags and they all open up like that. Oh, four of them. And that's napkin and pattern tissue mod podged onto an index card, a coffee stained index card. So that's that one. And then, um, and it's got the little blue button attached to the bulb pin there. Okay. So there's the button again, the button paper button. Some ledger paper. This is some parchment paper, some kind of blue parchment paper. This was from a book. I just made a little pocket envelope there. It's got a Mrs. Cog postcard and um, a nice little journaling sheet. Um, Café de France. That's what that says. <laughs> and I just put that in there. And another image, um, uh, it's another book image, um, flower book image. This was the Franken paper, and I just used some Mod Podged napkins to do that part. And then it's got stitched music paper, some stenciling, and that's the center of that signature. There's the back part of the Franken paper, floral page, and then another envelope. This one has the Missouri Star Quilt, so, 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 things to do today. And then the Mrs. Cog card is there. And this and there. And the parchment, the ledger, coffee dyed paper. It's very sparkly, and I'm not sure why, but you get a nice sparkly piece of paper. A button. And then there's the, you know, the stabilizer that I collaged that's sewn onto the page. So it's kind of like a fabric flip you know, if you will. And then there's the the thread sampler card for that one. Copy that. Oops. With the magenta. <laughs> the rainbow colors with magenta added in. And there's a fabric pocket. Uh, a journaling card with the sequins and trim down the side. Copy dye paper. And then this one's got... Some more danglings. See those? <laughs> I love danglings. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. Um, oh, and this is um. Oh, did I put the same one in this? Okay, well I'm gonna have to go through these. I think I already read this one in this journal, so I'm gonna have to switch it up. Uh, there's a pair of scissors tag. Sorry, I feel like I'm going slow and then I'm told don't go so fast. And Okay, <laughs> um, so there's that. And these ones have You Had Me in Stitches, which is really cute. Isn't that pretty? I love her, her digitals, um, Mrs. Cog's digitals, and a button card. And that was just to protect the page. From the stamp. Oh, sorry, I hit you again with my head. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that every time. Uh, and then this is the the pins, um, the you know the fabric swatch, and then a piece from a, a sari, and um, a little button. And then there's the the scissors, the scissors in there. And so that just closes up with this little button. not as difficult as I'm making it look. It's just a button. 
And then this is the last page of the signature with my business tag in it. And um, some really, really pretty fabric patchwork. Oh, and the back of the book. I didn't show you this in the last one. Um, so what I did, um, I, I practiced some stitches on my machine on a piece of, um, well, I don't know if this was stabilizer or interfacing, but anyhow, uh, rather than um, make it permanent in the book, I um, put it, some snap tape on it. See, you can get that at your fabric store. And then you can pull it out and you can do your own, do more of your own stitches on there if you want. And then what I was going to, oh, and it's got a library card. I put a library card in the back so you can put your name on there. But what I was going to show you with the original book, the first one, I'm going to show you with this one. No, I'm not. Hang on. <laughs> well, sometimes you think you're so prepared and then you get on and you're not that prepared. <laughs> What I was going to say with this one is because this is so big, it's so big and chunky. What you've got here, oh, and it's got a little pair of scissors. Aren't those beautiful? And this, oh, and oh, another thing too, the tie is an elastic, but it will have, it will come with the measuring tape ribbon. Um, I just didn't put it on yet because it's a nuisance to open and close with that. So what you can do is you can actually take these out of the main book. They are sewn, like I said. They're all their own book. And you end up with so two paper junk journals and then the fabric one because it's got a cover and it's got an inside. You've got three junk journals for the one for the price of one. And then not only do you have three junk journals, if you take the fabric part out of the book, it just pops out like that. You actually have, and you can take that out too, because that's just attached by a knot, right? So you can pull that right out. You actually have something you could put on your wall. As a piece of art like you could actually hang that up on your wall in say your craft room or a sewing room which is what of course what I've done because I have I have um, six of these size 16 by 16 actually hanging on my wall and they look beautiful anyhow <laughs> I just thought I would show you that because um, uh, it, because it is such a chunky journal um, so this way, you've got three. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I thought it was. So three for the price of one. There you go. <laughs> and I'll fix all that after. Okay, so last book um, is the blue. this blue one, which is my favorite because I love that color. I am going to probably go through this fairly quickly because I don't know. where I'm guessing we're way past a half an hour already. So this one here just... Um, it's got some beautiful colors too. So and this one, what does it have in here? Oh, this one in here has the has the embroidery thread. And it's got the button there. Another one of these. See, I'm traveling again. Sorry guys. Uh, a little tag that double tag in the beautiful pocket. <laughs> I'm gonna make it easier for myself. Okay, this one has the cameo there. Okay, so like I said, they're they're pretty similar. Um, they have a lot of the same pages in them, but you know some different ones too. This one's got the kind of going more on the red, the red danglies, and it's got the white danglies on the um, on the snippet, on the piece of snippet roll, and then it's. Um, got the white flower card and like I mentioned if you guys can think of some way to use these cards without covering the image that's the only thing I don't want to do because sure I could collage on it I could I could you know maybe mod podge a napkin on it or you know to make it a journaling card but 
I I really want to keep the images because they they're really really beautiful. And there's a index card journaling card. And there's that snippet kind of fabric flip. There's a belly band with a uh, journaling card that I made. Edith Holden paper for the center. There's Sue Olson and Mrs. Cog. And then this is also wallpaper. Uh, just made like a little envelope. And we have the another Jibbed Jibbed Neri card and a Mrs. Cog postcard in that little pocket. Okay, there's a tab. There's that shaker card in there. That's got the letter set upside down. <laughs> okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> This is um, a journaling card. You had me in stitches. Oh, I had me in stitches. Okay. And on coffee dye paper. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. And then that's that scan again. And more pages. Pages. This one has that journaling card. And happiness is a full bobbin. Yes, it is. And the button. And this one has the the needle book in there. And then this is also wallpaper, and that's got the red sewing machine from Sue Olson. It's got some uh, measuring tape ribbon, and then this envelope has that tag and the pink paper clip, and inside this envelope is. Uh, it's a it's just an a flower image with a butterfly on some beautiful fabrics and that just goes in there well, that one went easy okay so that's the first signature second signature is the same as the other two with the fabric and then this is the third signature and that was all just the stamping and the working zipper, measure twice, cut once. And by the way, that is very good advice. <laughs> uh, some of that mulberry paper in a Franken Franken page um, that I made. I think it's mulberry. I think that's what it's called. Um, a corner a corner pocket here with the button card that you can, you know, you could journal on it, but with the buttons sticking out. I don't know. Anyway, it's there if you want it. Um, this one has the little spool of thread inside. The little glassine bag. Fabric swatches. Uh, a Gale, a Gale Eco image, and this one here has the snap. And then, isn't that cute? I put the little danglies up on the top. <laughs> and then I used um, colored index cards for the journaling spots. Isn't that, isn't that sweet? I think it's sweet. Anyway, and that's that. Okay, guys, sorry. I just think if I don't put it back now, it's going to be a mess for me to try to figure out where everything goes after. And then all the tickets in that little pocket. The handmade paper. There's a little, um, that journaling card that I made, or um, patchwork, quilted patchwork card that I made. Okay, so I used the same one in here too. And then the buttons. And in that pocket, it's got this journaling tag with the red dangle. This one has that little journaling page and a Mrs. Cog postcard. 
It's got a flower um, flower charm there, and there's the um, collage on the on the um, stabilizer. And then this pocket needle in a haystack and things to do today so 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 okay and the butterfly paper that's the center it's a quite a beautiful image actually of a sewing machine a work of art really and this one has the little pom-poms and that's the back of it. This page had a measuring tape running throughout. That was kind of cool. So that's why I think that's why I chose to use that. And the thread sampler there again. This one has a little owl. Can you see? And the tissue pa or um, tracing paper, handmade paper. And then the there's a button tag in there, and then the red sewing machine from Sue Wilson again. That's the CD envelope, and then the fabric swatches. That one, and that has the little um, scissors in the tag, and the buttons. And those ones have these vintage buttons in there. <laughs> that was my head, sorry. Again. And finally, the little needle book, semi pseudo needle book. There's the scissors with the little, ta um, little tassel hanging. And then those needles are taped down as well. That's attached with the safety pin. Got a piece of lace and a little heart button on there. And then in the back, it's got a pocket and my business card tag. And the back of the, that signature. And that's it. Sorry for taking so long, you guys. I, um, I did try to go quick but slow. And... Um, so anyway, these three journals will be available in my shop. Just as soon as this video is loaded, you'll be able to, well, as soon as you see the video, they'll be, they'll be in my shop. This will be the fairy themed, fairy sewing book, the blue one and the pink one. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.